Hey guys, LC FIFA here, and welcome to this 96 rated Footies Coutinho player review. So this card has just been released in the most recent Footies batch of players, and I managed to pick him up for around 200k, which I thought was a fairly decent price for him. And considering I already have a few Premier League players anyway, it was quite easy for me to fit him into a team. Anyway, as you can see on screen, this is a team I started him in. We have Schmeichel in goal, Hernandez, Reem, Buffon, and Zaha in defence. Son, Zambrotta, Tonali, and Saka in midfield, with Coutinho and Vardy in attack. And whilst Coutinho is in a striker position starting here, he will actually be playing mostly a sort of wide left attacking midfield for me. And if that doesn't work, maybe I could try him in striker or in uh, somewhere behind the striker like a central cam. But we'll try him wide left and see how he gets on. So he's 5 foot 8, he's got high attacking and medium defensive work rates, he's right footed and he has a 5 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. He can play in striker, centre mid, cam and left wing. And then looking at his stats, he's got 94 acceleration with 89 sprint speed, 95 attack positioning, 91 finishing, 98 shot power and long shots, 94 volleys, 97 vision, 93 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy and curve, 95 short passing, 91 long passing, 98 agility, balance, ball control and dribbling, 94 reactions, 95 composure and finally he has 98 stamina. As I will be relying on him in attacking positions, I have decided to put the Hunter chemistry style on him. That just boosts his pace to pretty much max and also increases his shooting. Plus his passing and dribbling are pretty much there and I don't think boosting his physical will actually do too much. Finally onto his traits, he's got flair and outside the foot shot with the other two being AI based traits. Okay then game number one and he's got Walker in goal. He's got uh, Footy's Killer Barley, the new Lorente. He's also got Coutinho in his centre mid role, Cole, Forlan, and the new Luis Muriel. Head it on. Coutinho. He's offside. Oh, one of them's offside. I don't know which one it is. That looks like Coutinho. Vardy's in. Just going to tap that and we do manage to beat the goalkeeper this time. We've been pushing for a goal and we get it. We nicked it off him again for the second time. Vardy's in again. We could have passed that. He's come straight back to us. We get a little bit lucky there with a the rebound, but we'll take it. 2-0. We'll take it down the sideline. Chip that over to Son. Son, can you hit it? And keeper saves. We've got him this time though. Can he deliver a ball in for Vardy? He's fallen to the back post, but he heads away. Vardy out to uh, Coutinho. Oh, he skilled them. Come on. Little fake shot. Can he get the shot off? And he does. A couple of skills mixed in there. And we managed to get the goal. First goal for Coutinho. Gone for the long shot. It's in. And we've beaten for the sec for a second time with Coutinho. This time from range. And it is uh, Kyle Walker in goal. So he's not the tallest of goalkeepers. we we'll make it 4-0. And he's quit. Right, game number two. He's got team of the season, Allison, Team of the year, Van Dyke, uh, Trevi Titans, Ferdinand. He's got the new G-Sun Park footies card as well on the left wing. Pretty decent team overall. Oh, Vardy from kickoff. I take it early, and we've managed to beat Allison. We make it 1 0, and it's only a couple of minutes into the game. But we're getting caught. He's fouled me. Coutinho wins a foul. We've got the free kick with him here. I'm not very good at free kicks, to be completely honest with you. Back post, Buffon. His keeper gets it. Coutinho takes the torch and he gets the goal. Good positioning. I thought that pass might have been intercepted to him then, but we do manage to get the goal. He's paused it and he's quit. Okay, game number three. He's got the new Oblak card. He's got the 97 Roberto Carlos. Footies, Kunde, Gravenberch, Rodrigo, Royce, 
and Ansu Fati up front. That's a foul, surely. It should be a yellow card, really. He's got away with one there. We've hit it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. It's on target, at least. Little scoop. Beat him. You can see Vardy arriving late. He's going to head it. Just not enough power on the header. Is he onside? Coutinho, we take the shot low, and I think his defender just about overcommitted, went too early on the slide tackle, and we managed to slot it past the goalkeeper. 1-0. Play it back out. Can you deliver a cross to Saka? Body? Oh. How have we not scored from that? Coutinho, that is terrible. Son? Yes, we do manage to get it. Second goal. And he's going to pause it. Is he going to quit? Yeah, he's quit. Right then, game number four. And he's got Timothy and Samba. Foot both to Marquinhos. His centre-backs are pretty basic for players, but he has got Timothy and Mbappe up front. Oh, what a pass. Nothing you can do about that. That is a great cross. Right, okay, frustrating one to give away. Just cut it back again. It's so frustrating. How is nobody marking him in the box there? Oh, Buffon's just been caught. He's just been caught sleeping there. We'll take that. Go on, Son. Take it early. It's 4-2. <sighs> right. Is it a pen? It's a pen. I think I megged him and he tackled me there. Bit soft, but we'll take it. And Coutinho, wherever he is. 92 penalties. He's got his own little run up. Top right, we score. Good interception. Can he play that through to Son? Oh, it's gone all the way to Lewandowski. It was a pretty long ball, that, but unfortunately, it's just not accurate enough. Hang on, he's got all of my shirt. How is that not a penalty? Oh, we've scored. <laughs> a little rainbow flick that we use a new uh, power shot they've put into this year's game. Didn't want to lose to him, really. Played like wasting time in the 70th minute. I hate it when people do that. So we'll start with his pace. And although I did put Hunter on him, you can feel that split between his acceleration and sprint speed. His acceleration was pretty good. However, over longer distances, I did find that he tended to get uh, caught up to by some defenders especially the faster fullbacks like the new uh, Klaus card. As I was playing him in a wide left-hand side position, he was constantly coming up against fullbacks. And although he might get an edge on them at first with his attack positioning and work rates, over longer distances, he did just get caught up to. So although I did use him in a wide position and he did play pretty well for me, I would say he'd probably be better suited to a central cam role. As I sort of touched on, his attack positioning was pretty good and he did put him in good positions to score for me. His 91 finishing, I can't say I had any problems with. Every time he was inside the box, he did manage to pretty much hit the target. And his shot power will also help this out. I mean, 91 finishing is pretty good, but with that shot power as well, it just means the keeper has less time to react to the shot 
which increases the chances of the ball going past him, even if it's not necessarily in the corner. And if you match that up with his long shots as well, he's just as deadly outside the box as he is inside it. A lot of people are tending to use that 94 cal Walker in goal because of his speed. However, his weakness is his long shots because of his height and his positioning. And having someone like Coutinho, who can hit them pretty well from outside the box, it does help you exploit those weaknesses in some people's goalkeepers. His 94 volleys are pretty good as well. I did have that one instance outside the box, which I guess it wasn't really a true volley. It was more of a half volley using the power shot mechanic, but he hit it pretty well and it went into the net. His passing, I would say, I didn't really notice any sort of weaknesses. His vision and short passing means that in short yard situations, he can find those gaps through the defence to avoid the ball being intercepted. His 93 crossing along with his 99 curve is one of the reasons why I decided to use him out wide, as he can whip the ball in. His free kicks at 99 along with his curve and including his 98 shot power means that he's definitely going to be one of the best set piece takers in your team. And if you are any good at free kicks, unlike me, you will be able to take advantage of that in game. And then his 91 long passing was decent enough. It did have the odd time where it went a little bit off target to the player I was trying to pass the ball to. But they were pretty difficult passes and it'd be harsh for me to say it was a negative of the card. So 91 long passing, it was decent enough. On to his dribbling and at 98 it's exactly what you'd expect it to be like. His height, agility and balance combination makes him very easy to turn with both on and off the ball. His 94 reactions means that he stays up to date with everybody else that's on the pitch at this point in the year and he just reacts to changes in ball direction pretty quickly. His ball control and dribbling I can't really have any complaints with. He was very easy to manoeuvre whilst in possession of the ball. There was the odd occasion where he maybe took a bit too much of a big touch. However, that was mainly when I was sprinting and trying to turn it too harsh of an angle which will happen to pretty much every player in this game because it's just the way the animations work. His 95 composure means that if he is under pressure from defenders, he isn't going to lose too much power or accuracy in his shooting and passing. Likewise, it also reduces the chances of him taking a heavy touch. Defensively, obviously, it isn't really the strongest part of this card. However, he did make the odd interception, which was good to see. And physically, it's pretty much all just stamina on this card, which at 98, you can't really have any complaints about. And historically, this has kind of always been a weak point of Coutinho cards, so I'm glad to see they've given him a pretty big stamina boost here. His jumping is kind of irrelevant, really, because of his height. He isn't going to win many headers. And even if he does win a header, he does have 61 heading accuracy, which isn't great. And then his strength and aggression again, although they're not absolutely terrible, they're not in like the 50s or the 60s, I think we're at that point in the year where if it's not in the high 80s, 90s region, they're pretty much just going to get outstrength by most players. And then, of course, he does have the five-star, five-star combo. So five-star skill moves makes him a fun card to use. So even if you do kind of get caught up to, you can use skill moves to beat the uh, opponent's defenders. And then his five-star weak foot just means his left foot is as good as his right foot, which is good if you do want to play him on the wing like I did. Or if you are playing him in a more central role, it just means you can play the ball on his left and right foot when it comes to passing or shooting. Whatever position you find yourself in, you can just use either foot. So overall, I'm going to give this card a 9.3 out of 10. The main thing that sort of brings this rating down is that pace which, you know, if this was taking place three or four months ago, it would have been fine. However, at this point in the year, 91 pace just isn't the best, really, especially if you want to play him in a wider position like I did. However, his five-star, five-star combination with his dribbling makes him a very fun card to use. And on top of that, his shooting and passing are both great. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please have a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please have a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.